Hey yo! What's poppin' boys? Today, I am back. My name is Shredna. I will be teaching you how to make a little baby beat from scratch today in this video. I'll be making a loop first, and then I'll be making the drums on that loop. I'll be breaking down everything. So I will just show you what it's all gonna sound like in the end. Bruh. All right, so yeah, this is what the beat we will be making will sound like. That's hard, pretty much a standard little baby type beat. But yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make this melody. Uh, I'm gonna hop over to FL12. So here the loop is, it is very simple, it's, it's only three layers, um, here's what it sounds like. So this loop consists of a main piano which has this pattern. It might look scary, but I will show you how this was made and how simple um, chords can actually be. I also took the top notes of my uh, piano pattern and uh, cloned it into a separate Omnisphere. Um, the piano is, uh, by the way, from Keyscape. If the plugin decided to fucking load. All right. Here we are, it is the LA Custom C7 Mellow. So I took the top notes from that, put it into a separate one. I only took these couple of top notes, those right here. I put half time on it to give it some cool texture, which I thought sounded great on top of the piano. And lastly, I found a cool little guitar riff kind of thing from a one-shot kit by Based One and Pilgrim, Black Magic. Um, so that is pretty much the loop. So this piano was created in D sharp minor. So what I did was I took every scale from this little button here, I pressed that, and then I chose the Aeolian scale right here. And then I started highlighting each uh, D sharp key in uh, a whole bunch of octaves like so and then i put it into the same layer as my omnisphere instance and uh, what i would then do was i usually just pick a bass note um, that i like so i make like a short little loop of bass notes so the bass notes i chose was b to a C sharp, to a D sharp, to an F sharp, like so. Then I copied this a couple times and put it an octave up and another and another. So now we have a cool little bass kind of progression for the whole melody. The next thing I did from here was to fill the chords up a bit more because right now they're quite empty. It's only the same pattern in different octaves. So I needed to fill up the, the emptiness of it. So I started filling out some of these spaces um, a good thumb rule is to skip every second note or to skip one white note and then place a note on the second one like so. So there's one space and then we place a note and then another space and then we place a note. This would create a nice chord. But I decided to remove one of them and only keep this one. And I basically did that all the way through. 
as you can see, we skip one white, skip one white, and now we have a chord. Remove this one. Next. Remove this one. Next. There, there. Remove this one. So now we have a couple nice chords here. The next thing I did was to add a bunch of top uh, notes to this melody to fill it out a bit more. So I made a pretty repetitive little loop right here. Just like so. Pretty repetitive, but after we humanize it and mess with the velocity a bit later, it will start to sound uh, much better. So to finish this whole piano loop off, I started to create like the very top notes um, to, to give it like some, some flair, some, some sauce. And this is the fun part in my opinion, because it's really easy to do actually. Usually I just go into um, the cell, I change it to none just so I can really humanize it and make like those small rolls um, that you will um, hear in a bit. But this is easy because you can pretty much just imagine any melody in your head and then just put it into this um, piano roll. These are, the couple, these are the rolls I was talking about where uh, one note switches to another note very, quick, very quickly. Um, very quickly and this creates some very nice uh, realistic sounding piano notes as you can hear right there so you can pretty much just freestyle this however you want so for the uh, next section of the loop I will copy the whole thing but make some changes to it just to not make it become too repetitive. So I will change up the top notes just a slight bit for this section. I'll drop, make them drop down to um, some lower notes, but still using like the same kind of structure for it with the rolling notes. And then to finish everything off, I created a small little staircase kind of structure with the notes just to make the whole loop lead into the beginning of the loop again. There we go. So this was pretty much the rough structure of the whole piano loop, but right now it sounds pretty blocky and uh, not very human like so there's a couple things you can do to fix this um, the first thing you can do is to put an EQ on it and you want to take some of the lows out a bit of the mids out and then just raise some of the highs out then I also added some reverb I just usually just adjust this bar here depending on how much reverb I want on it um, but I kept it around here the next thing you can do is to go up here to the tools icon click randomize and then I usually don't like using bipolar so I'm not going to but then you can just mess with this velocity bar here and when you found somewhere you like it you can just press accept and now the um, tool will have randomized all the velocities for all the keys so This makes it sound like um, if a real human actually played it, because if you played it by hand uh, on a real MIDI keyboard, you wouldn't be able to, to hit the exact same um, velocity every time you hit a note. So this makes it just sound more human-like. Um, to finish it off, I also went up to the Tools button again. I pressed Strum, and then I used these settings. I usually just mess with the Strength one, and th then I just pressed Accept. And then it has um, 
I tend to do this stuff where it um, shortens all the bass notes or the lowest notes. So I usually just like to fill them in to make sure they don't cut off too early. So this was the whole piano MIDI done. So the next thing was the little guitar riff. Very simple. I just took one for each um, part of the loop at this point. And the last thing which I already told you was the half-timed top melody of the piano. So um, let's render this out and hop back into FL11 to create the drums for it. So the first thing I did was drag in the loop of the uh, that we just created and um, I sped the BPM up to 156 just to get the tempo that uh, little baby likes to rap on um, typically. And I also just took it down a hundred cents uh, a semitone just to create it uh, or just to make it like a key lower in, in pitch. So now it sounds like this. So the next thing I did was to grab a spin 808 because what I'm aiming for here is like some Quay Global type drums. Uh, one of a little baby's producers. So I grabbed the spins 808 I shortened it a tad as you can see here. It's about 27% I put the amp to 2% and the FXI to about 6% For the pattern of the 808 I just followed the uh, the, the, the chord progression that we did on the piano uh, but remember that we took it one key down, so it, everything's one key down. Usually it would be like B, C sharp, D sharp, F, F sharp. So this is what the 808 sounds like. Pretty standard stuff. So the next element was the snare. Uh, what I noticed in a bunch of little baby beats is, um, especially the ones uh, Quay Global has produced, there is a short but very snappy snare. Um, so I found this snare and I layered it with a short clap as well. So together it all sounds like this. Also pretty standard. So next thing I did was to add the hi-hats and um, this one's a bit more interesting because I layered it, um, I did two layers. I did one in the regular uh, C key with the rolls and such and then I did one um, with notes every fourth step but with all the, their velocities lowered um, in, a, in a lower key just to create some, um, some depth if you can call it that. So um, something else I noticed in a lot of Lil Baby songs is there's like a every second, like if I'm, if I'm using the second step or whatever it's called um, tool up here, there's like a, a roll like this just before the first clap. So I did that of course to like get the vibe of Lil Baby. And then I just proceeded to add a bunch of smaller, smaller rolls here and there. Um, but make sure not to overcomplicate these uh, hi-hat patterns because that's something I, I see a lot of producers do nowadays, just overcomplicate these types of, of, of uh, hi-hat patterns. You gotta consider that a rapper has to get on this beat, so you also want to make sure that the rapper has space to do their thing um, and be able to rap so it's not super crowded with hi-hats everywhere and snares. So just make sure to keep your beats simple, that's uh, a very good tip. So um, this is what it sounds like. Also, I made sure that the hi-hat was pretty short as well, because I also noticed that in a lot of little baby songs, the hi-hat is very short and clicky. So it's just a hit one hi-hat like uh, everyone has that hi-hat, so I just shortened it and uh, went from there. 
The next thing I did was add a basic open hat. Pretty much the same spot for every bar. So um, the last thing I added was a kick. So um, it's just hitting on, on. The last thing I did was add a kick and I made sure to get a hard kick. And um, as you can see, I also um, change the key of some of the kicks because when you switch 808 keys like so like the 808 goes into a pretty high key the kick can sound pretty weird on top of it so sometimes I just um, take the kick a couple keys up um, depending on where the 808 is just to make sure that the kick sounds right so that's a nice tip um, so the final product sounds like this So that was how to make a low type. So that was how to make a little baby type beat from scratch. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, remember to subscribe, like, leave a comment, do your thing. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace out.